My hair is its own person. Mm -hmm. Her name is Rebecca. Today we're gonna try the best anti-frizz products for curly hair. Mine's like fine, but yeah, there's a lot. I, w I wouldn't wanna say kinky curls. I think it's, it's very, very thick. We're gonna damp our hair. <laughs> I don't know about this, Sheila, listen. I don't wanna spill this. <laughs> Do I look wet? I have a lot of hair. Same. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean. <laughs> Why is the frizz crossed out? Because we don't want frizz. Oh, the It's a really classy bottle. Yeah, it is. I like the smell. It smells like roses. It smells so, like flowers. Like when I have like stuff that smells like Skittles, I'm like, I don't want my hair to smell like no damn Skittles. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't like when they say use generously because that just means I'm going to have to buy a new one <laughs> very soon. This is soon. so true. <laughs> I just know I'm going to need a lot. It smells like a rich lady. This already, my hair is like absorbing it. It's not thick at all, which I like. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of product in my hair. This is not helping cr like create any sort of pattern. It actually seems to be okay. And this is like an area of my hair that gets really frizzy. Look, it's like straightening it out oh, even really? more. So I can already tell like with my hair that this wouldn't do well. I feel like it's giving your curls moisture, mm -hmm. but it's not really giving it that pop. I like how light it feels. I don't mm -hmm. like a lot of product in my hair because then it feels like it's weighing my hair down. Oh. I'm gonna say no to living proof for me because I, I feel like a little wet terrier right now. I'd probably give this for me like a, like a two, quite honestly. I'd give it a two. Okay. I'd give this a three. I think it's pretty okay average. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Oh God, frizzy. it's clear. This is what I, this is like I for me, like the signature diva curl smell. Yeah, it smells like childhood. Ooh, I like the way my curls are popping. Like it just doesn't feel like it's defining anything for me. Yeah. In order for my hair to not be frizzy, I have to define it with like a curl styling cream. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I actually like the texture of this at all because it just feels very slimy like snot. I also don't feel like it's really penetrating my curl. I feel like it's just sitting on top of it. I feel like this one gives, defines my curl a lot more than the other product, which mm. I like. Like I think you put something underneath first and then I think you put this over it. I feel like there's a lot less like stray hairs. And it's 100% sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Say that three times fast. <laughs> sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Sulfate, paraben, silicone free. <laughs> I think this is not the product for my curl. I think this is for a different Person. Yeah. I would say a three to four, to be honest. Yeah, I would give it a 3.5. I'd give it a four. Yeah, I'd give it a 3.5. Mm. It's a bit better than the other one. Caviar cream. This looks really bougie. Ooh. It does have caviar in the title, caviar. which I don't think. Okay, so it's real fancy. I think whoever's deciding what these products smell like is just like on top of it. I like the way it feels. I gotta say, it feels less frizzy, this section, than when I put it in. I don't know, this isn't really like detangling anything. I feel like my hair is getting naughty. I do like that it's like thick. And I like that it says heat protection, which means you can put this on your hair if you're gonna blow dry. Right. This one's a good go-to, I feel like, if you're the end of the day and everything's kind of frizzed out and you just wanna do a touch-up. Yeah, that's true. I give it a 3.7. And I give it a four because of the, the texture of it. I like how thick it is, so I have a little bit more faith in it. Three and a half. I'd give it a four for me. I like it. I'd probably rate it a four as well as okay. the Diva. Yeah, I think yeah. I'd rate it a four. My favorite is the Living Proof. I'm gonna go with the Caviar one to start off with and finish it off with the Diva Curl. So overall, I would say my favorite would be the Caviar. Um, I think it kind of does a lot of things just for this one product, which is great. I'm gonna go with Diva Curl. Yeah. Um, just because as much as I did like the Caviar Cream, I felt like Diva Curl comes through with the, with the smells, and I'm a big scent person. If I was gonna use one, I think it would have to be the Caviar one, just because yeah. it's hard to find something that you can put in dry hair. Did it make your hands really soft? Oh, I didn't know My this. hand is quite soft. Ooh. I do want to say that with my frizz, I actually don't have that much of a problem with it. I constantly have hairdressers mm. coming up to me being like, I know how to get that frizz right out. And I'm like, that's just the way that my hair goes from my head. I know we all want to control frizz. 
Who's, who told us Priz was bad in yes, the first place? That's what I'm saying. If your curl feels good, then it probably looks good too. Oh shit. Put that in a t-shirt.